Hello, this is Eddie Boulay, and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to speak briefly on Halle Berry. Halle Berry is one of the most successful mixed slash black actresses in Hollywood. She self-identifies as black and we have embraced her and have enjoyed her in television and movies. And in the past I have enjoyed her interviews because she's always light. She keeps it light and playful and she doesn't get too deep. So Hallie has a positive image with black Americans. I think generally we like Hallie. Because she utilized her blackness at the right time when Hollywood had become political and black people had started saying, what about black people? We need more black representation. She stepped right into that role and she became the black actress. And because she was able to step into that role and refine her craft. I believe Halle was a hard worker. It culminated in Halle Berry being named the first black actress to win an Academy Award. Now the movie that she won the Academy Award for, Monsters Ball was garbage as far as I'm concerned. I have not seen that movie straight through, but I've seen enough of it to know that I don't want to see any more of it. At the time of the Academy Awards, she was married to the singer, Eric Benet. And I remember seeing them sitting in the audience at the Academy Awards and thinking, this is the most beautiful couple in the room. They were stunning. So I thought, Hallie is ours. In the way that some of us think, I thought, Hallie is ours. Which means that I was thinking that she had really embraced blackness. But observing the moves that she has made since winning that award, I really question whether or not she embraced blackness or whether she was just using it to get ahead. Because let me remind you, the climate in Hollywood was that we've got to give a black actress an Academy Award. Not supporting actress, the real thing. The best actress in a motion picture. So... I'm not going to bite my tongue about this. I'm just going to say what I want to say. Before Halle Berry won that award, all the time that she was in Hollywood, she was dating black men and marrying black men. She had this affair where she claims Wesley Snipes beat her to the point that she couldn't hear good. And I question that now. And then she was married to David Justice and Eric Benet. And I think there were other black men that she dated. But her love life seemed to have been with black men. But right after she won that Academy Award, she divorced Eric Benet. The tabloids reported that he said that Hallie and her mother, who is white, said that he had a sex addiction, something he claimed not to know anything about. But I think he went into therapy for that. So I guess he was trying to go along with them. But the point was, it was time to get rid of the black guy now because she was rebranding. She dumped Eric Benet, and the next thing we knew, she had taken up with this so-called Canadian model, this white man with this long blonde hair named Gabriel Aubrey or Autry or something like that. And then the next thing we knew, she's about 49, 50 years old, she was pregnant. So that's who she chose to have her first child with. They were together for a short period of time after that child was born. The next thing you knew, they had broken up and he had hit her up for child support. On top of that, he was living in her house and she was trying to get him out of her house. I think she was having a hard time trying to get him out of her house. And I'm pretty sure she learned what a lot of women learn. It's the hardest thing in the world to get a sorry man out of your house. So they had this big time child custody battle going on in the tabloids. And at a point she was saying that he was mad because she was calling the child black when clearly the child is not black. And he didn't want her to call the child black, which was dumb to me because if you want a black child, why are you having a child with a white man? But the whole thing was he was hitting her up for as much child support as he could get. I think it started out with her paying him $12,000 a month and then he upped it to $16,000. But the most recent thing was that she was paying him $16,000 a month in child support. So she's paying this to her white baby daddy. But she was still in the heyday of her career and she was going after movie roles that I think she thought white women would go after because they were roles in which she would have a white male co-star. 
So she had advanced beyond black people now. And she was going on into the white world. She was going into the white girl realm. That's what it looked like. So in one movie, she met this French actor named Oliver something or other. And then they were in a big romance. And the next thing you know, they had gotten married. And she was getting ready to have another baby. And now, they are going on for a while. One Thanksgiving, they had a big thing in the tabloids about the two baby daddies got to fight at her house during Thanksgiving. I think the Frenchman who had been a boxer beat up the Canadian. So that's what her life had come to as the first black actress to win an Academy Award. She's got two white men fighting out in the road and they had to call the police. Okay, ghetto. Well, anyway, she did have the son with him. Then that marriage fell apart. And next thing you know, she's paying this man child support. So she's paying child support to two white baby daddies. Halle Berry had two black husbands. David Justice, who was a Major League Baseball player and a millionaire, and Eric Benet. Eric Benet had a preteen daughter that Halle supposedly adopted. And when they divorced, they say he tried to get child support, but I don't think he was successful. But she did not have children with those black men. Now, I know time is everything, and maybe that wasn't the right time for her to have children. But it just seems strange to me that when she got ready to have children, she took up with these white men. And now she's whining because she's having to pay child support to them. Even if you want to take up with a white man, why didn't you take up with one who had some money? You're in Hollywood, some of the most successful white men in the country. You mean to tell me you couldn't get one of them who could afford to pay you child support or at least break even with you? That you're going to go out and have a baby with two broke, low-achieving white men. It's just extraordinary to me. But there's a popular saying in black America, be careful how you treat people on the way up the ladder because you meet the same old faces coming back down. She climbed up the ladder, performing blackness, proclaiming to be proud to be black and proud to represent black women. She got all the way to the top. And when she got to the top, she turned coat on black people. She didn't need black people anymore. And so now she's going to go off and lead her real life as the other part of her, the white part. But out there in that white world of Kate Blanchett and Jennifer Aniston and Jennifer Lawrence and all the rest of them, I think she discovered something very important. There's a place for them and then there's a place for you. And they've got a padlock on their place and you are not going to crash in on it. They don't care about you being half white. They don't recognize half white. And so Halle Berry hasn't done any good in Hollywood since she won that Oscar. Her movies have flopped and another younger breed of actresses have come on the scene. So she's not nearly the star that she used to be. Because she had outgrown her audience. She thought she had outgrown black people. That wasn't her crowd that she thought she was going to appeal to. Well, she's coming back down the ladder now. She has gone as far as she's going to be able to go in Hollywood as a young, beautiful black actress. So now she's on her way back down. And this is who she's with now. And so now she's back performing blackness. So recently I read, I just saw in the newspaper, that her child support payments to the Canadian model have been reduced from $16,000 a month to $8,000 a month. And it didn't say what she was paying the French guy. But apparently it's not as much as she's paying this Canadian guy, Gabriel Aubrey. So the reason I'm talking about this is because I think Halle Berry used black people. She performed blackness until she got what she wanted, got where she wanted to be in Hollywood. And then she dumped us. When she was going up the ladder, she went up on blackness. When she got there, she decided, well, I'm ready to have children now. And that needs to be with white men. But she had always had her relationships with black men. But this is the sobering takeaway from this for me. It seems like Halle Berry was waiting for the opportunity to get out of blackness, as many of them do. It's like, you're good enough to use to get where I want to go. But when I'm looking for my next generation, black is not good enough. So I trust whiteness. So I'm going to have my children by white men. 
even if they don't stand for anything, even if they're low achieving and broke, they're still white and I'm still going to bet on white. Now that is my takeaway from this. Because she had the best of the black men of America. She could have picked just about any black man that she wanted when she was at the height of her beauty and her career. But it was something wrong with the black guys. Wesley Snipes was abusive and Eric Benet had a sex addiction. And I don't remember, I don't even remember what the problem was with David Justice. He got involved in some kind of scandal too. But it was always something wrong with the black men that she was involved with. David Justice has gone on and married somebody and has been in a marriage for a long time. Eric Benet, I think, is also in another marriage. And some of the other men, even Wesley Snipes, is in a long time marriage. So those men must not have been that awful. They are able to hold down relationships. Two of them, I think, with non-black women, David Justice and Wesley Snipes. But I don't believe she wanted to have children with black men. I don't believe she wanted black children. So as far as I'm concerned, she used black people to get where she wanted to go. But when it came down to her having children, I don't think she thought that blackness was good enough. I'm just going to call a spade a spade because that's how I see it. But I think that she wanted to look to her next generation to make sure that they had the benefit of whiteness in America. So now that she's not relevant anymore, every time you look around, she's on the internet or in the tabloids walking around half naked. It looks like she's on the come up again. And that's how she's getting attention now, 50 something years old. But now she's going to duck up another black guy. And I guess he's going to go along for the ride. I don't blame him. But this is what this is where this this kind of stuff leads, because to me, I don't believe she was for real. She was not taking blackness seriously. She was performing blackness. This is not a success story for her. It's not really even a good look for her. But at least her child support payments have been reduced. We want black people in the limelight to represent the best of who we are. We want them to portray that to the world that black Americans are okay and that we are out here doing our thing and just as good as anybody else. That is what we want portrayed. That's what I want. And I think that's what a lot of us want. But what we really have to recognize is that but very often people will use what we have to their advantage, but they don't respect us. They don't respect blackness. And this can be a black person. They don't have to be mixed. We see that with regular black people. The minute they get their hands on two or three dollars, they're going to try to mix in with another group of people that's never going to accept them. And just picking up any white person makes them feel better than being with the best of the black people. This is something that we really need to pay close attention to. I'm not sure how we deal with these kind of people, but I don't think you welcome them back. When they run out there, they've used you to get where they wanted to go. And then they get out there and they find out whiteness is closed to them. Now they can go get some white children, but that society is even closed to their children. I give you Meghan Markle. You can even look white, but if they know you have a drop of black blood, you get sent back to the back of the bus with the black people. I think that we have to call these things out so people understand that we are not to be used. And once you turn coat, you stay there. And the reason I'm saying this is because it all just seems phony to me. It seems phony to me that when she was on her way up, it was all about the black men. Then when she got there, it was all about the white men. And now she's on her way back down. Now she's picked up some black men. All of that seems phony to me. And it just seems like she's using black people and performing blackness to her advantage. And I just find that very problematic. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with mating and marrying white people or other races of people if that's what you want to do. Alfre Woodard, who is one of my favorite actresses, has been married to a white man from day one. I don't think she was using white people and I don't think she was using black people. That's just who she chose for a mate. But when it looks deliberate like it does with Halle Berry to me, that is when I have a problem with it. But y'all let me know what you think about the video. And don't agree with me if you don't agree with me. Let me know. I'll be happy to hear it. 
But let me know what you think about the video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a good day.